Hello YouTube watchers, it's Andrew here, how are you going? All right, so I'm gonna make this video to just share with you my experience of this particular job that I'm doing here. You can see what I've started doing. Before I start this video, can I ask you to subscribe? Please subscribe, go on really well with the subs. I've reached a thousand, I'm in the money. Woohoo, swimming in the money. I'm not really swimming in the money, but uh, yeah, it's, it's good that um, I'm making some money off YouTube again. So thank you to everyone who has subbed recently. Yeah, so it's it's a slow job because I'm a bit lazy. But what you're looking at here is the door panel, the interior left side door panel of a 2010 VE sports wagon Commodore uh, that is being, well, I'm trying to fix it. And it's the first one I've done. A, I've done two, I'll, I'll say two, I think it's probably more than two. But anyway, I've done two of um, of, of these sorts of door panels where the fabric has come away from the inside because hashtag Australia, hashtag cars overheat, hashtag Australia and glue don't mix. So the glue that they use, or it's probably not even the glue, it's probably the uh, the backing foam thing that is on, on, on the back of the original fabric uh, just <laughs> deteriorates really, really quickly and then... Well, is it quickly? I don't know. It's 2009. Nine-year-old car. Yeah, not, not, not that quick. It's not too bad. Anyway, for nine years, you know, the car's in the sun the whole day and it's, uh, it's come away. So I thought I'm going to fix it. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because, number one, it is a Commodore Australian car. Probably still quite popular in 2010. They were still selling quite a few of them. So, yeah. Uh... Might be a job that a few of you are looking at doing. So, uh, took took the panel off, a couple of extra screws. I'm not can't show you now, but just know that there's a couple of screws right in the middle here that have to be um, taken off. Obviously, otherwise you're going to just completely wreck this liner. If it doesn't just fall off the door, then you haven't removed all the screws. Okay, because once all the screws are off, but it just falls off. So in the past, when I've done these sorts of panels. They've always been in multiple sections, and I've been able to just put the fabric and push it between two. Obviously, like, like take this apart and then push the fabric between them, put them back together, and then you know attach them at the back, and it would hold it in place. But not on this one. And uh, yeah, it's so now, now. This is why you're seeing it as it is. Where I've done a first bit of gluing in the middle here. So I've used this quick grip spray. Um, bought it from Bunnings, but you can buy it from Super Cheap, you can buy it from Repco, you can buy it from a lot of places. And I've done a first spraying, but I haven't done the edges. So the part I want to show you is at the back here, you can't pull apart. I mean, they've got these seams, like they've got seams here. See, looks like, looks like it's going to be in two pieces. And see that line there? Looks like it's going to be in two pieces. And there's a couple of lines here where, oh yeah, it's going to come apart. But no, it doesn't. It is, it is. Plastic welded in all of these spots. There is, I don't know, there's, it, looks, it seems like there's a hundred of them, right? Plastic welding spots. And the hand, these are the ones that were holding the armrest in. And I had to pry them off to get the armrest off, which was probably, you know, not the best thing. But yeah, there are a couple of screws, so it's going to be okay to pull back together. But yeah, these ones, they're, they're welded. I'm not touching those because there's no way I'm going to be able to put them back together. This is what the back looks like when you pull it off. The speaker is not attached at all. And you've got these lugs. There's all the lugs on the edge. On the back, you can just see all the lugs. Are you wondering why I'm in my bedroom doing this? Have a look at the wind outside. Whoa. Pretty windy. Yeah. So that's the way I've had to do it this way. And so I've just put a whole bunch of glue in the middle part, laid it on top. I've just trimmed it back for now. And then now the next phase is to um, do some more finer gluing. So I'm gonna spray some of the glue into the tip and then use a brush or some something to put it right up against the edge and push it in. And then maybe use a Stanley knife just to cut it along there and make it nice and neat. Okay, so that's where I'm at. Uh, yeah, so for attempting this job, good luck. It's 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 a, it's a, one of those fiddly ones uh, to make nice and neat, but we'll see how we go. I'll make a follow-up video once I put it back on, and then you can have a look at uh, how pretty it is. Do you like the pattern that I've chosen? 
it's 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 I, I like it I like that the contrasting black and white colors and it's uh I think it's gonna match the uh decor of the vehicle so yeah anyway comments if if you if, if you want to make a comment about my leaves slightly you know kiwi New Zealand style even though I'm not a New Zealander but I just thought it'd be a bit add a bit of interest to the door panel rather than just a dull grey that it used to have. Comments, questions, anything, write it below. Thanks everyone. Next see you next time.